Hey everybody, it's Carson. How you doing? Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of the Carson Kelly Games Podcast where I tell you all about what's happening at my indie game studio, even though it's just me. Thank you for tuning in in advance. This is going to be a very short podcast, maybe 20-30 minutes at least. And we're, I'm going to be telling you what is coming this year and beyond. Um, and this is going to be a monthly podcast format. You can listen to either on Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, or wherever you feel like where you can watch me here via video. But if you're tuning in on a platform such as Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, thank you for listening. It's greatly appreciated. And if you're watching on a video, I'm sorry for the video quality. I'm currently testing out my uh, built-in webcam camera thing. I never used it before, so the quality doesn't look the greatest, but if I sound great and you can see me, perfect. But yeah, we're going to get it going. A lot is happening at Carson Kelly Games. A lot of people don't believe it, but hey, believe what you want. I know what I'm doing and I know what I can create. Um, let's get this one thing out of the way first. In December 2022, I made the decision to push Talking Dogs ahead a little bit. I wanted to add more uh, accessibility to the game and stuff like that. Because to me, when I play the game, the main menu, it's it's it looks... The font and stuff is too small, so I want to get that bigger. Yeah, it could take... It don't take long to fix that. But there's some other stuff in the game I want to fix and add more life to. And what I mean by add more life is like add more um, animals to the game, um, add more uh, areas you can explore. For example, the one level I like in the game has a lot of uh, zebras and stuff, a variety of animals. There's elephants, camels, pretty much every animal you can think of is in this game. Even though it's about a dog named Phil going on his journey trying to look for his best friend, Glenn, who went missing. And it's a beautiful story. Very short and sweet as well. That's also another thing I want to touch base on with you guys. The The story of the Talking Dogs is very short and sweet. Roughly an hour, if that. But if you're a speedrunner, probably you could get done in 30 minutes. 45 minutes. I mean, I've had people play the game here at my home. Well, Indie Game Studio or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, people loved it. People enjoyed it. I got feedback. One of the feedbacks was, can Phil run faster, like walk faster? And that's something I approved on. I want to improve on more. I want to increase his speed to where he can run and walk faster. Well, both. I want him to be improved because he's a little slow, Phil. Even on my bet worst days, I feel a little slow. <laughs> but, um, yeah. A lot of improvements to go still. The game is in post-production. It's about 99% done. It's just, when I decided to delay it a little bit, I wanted to add more. So, I guess you could say it's back in production. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I wanted to add more to the game. One of the levels, the desert level, I feel like is too empty and bland. So what I wanted to do is add more to it. Like, add some pyramids and stuff. Pay homage to the, um, the pyramids and stuff. Because I always find interest in the ancient stuff. That's pretty cool. Stuff, how all that amazing archi architecture architecture is built. And, wow, only three minutes in? Wow, it's going to be a, a long talk then. But, yeah, Talking Dogs is delayed, but it is coming soon. And it will launch on PS5, PlayStation VR 2, and PC, including the Windows Store and the Steam Store. And Epic Games Store release is in the works. I'll share more on that with you guys in the future. But yeah, as we continue talking about Talking Dogs, no pun intended, there's a lot of stuff I would like to update you on. Talking Dogs 2 is slated for holiday 2026, as you already know, and it's the sequel to Talking Dogs 1. To look even further than that, Talking Dogs 3, which now has a name. It's called Talking Dogs New Horizons, and it will conclude the first trilogy in the Talking Dogs saga. I don't know why I said saga. It it just rolled it just rolled off my tongue. I guess I meant trilogy, not saga. So yeah, Talking Dogs Three is the last game for Talking Dogs in that first trilogy. 
Then, of course, we have Talking Dogs Into the Wilds VR exclusively for the PlayStation VR 2, which I am very excited about. And I can't wait for you to talk about that more, but I won't be sharing much info on that this year. But there is an announcement teaser coming very soon. I was going to release it this month, but I don't like the trailer. It's too short, and I kind of messed up some of my wording in there, uh, like I do now. Like When I mean mess up my wording, I mean like um, how I uh, stutter a lot and stuff, and I just... I wanted it to be presentable. And my partners, that's my partners agree too. It could be a little better. So yeah, I'm going to hold back on that for a little bit. But I will be releasing some new uh, images from the game in engine capture, in engine captures from the game very soon, probably in the next few weeks, if that. Um, and yeah, another thing Talking Dogs has a book series. And if you don't know already by now, it has been announced that the first three books are coming this holiday. And you can pre-order today on Amazon, Bookstore, uh, Apple Bookstore, I believe, too, and uh, Barnes & Noble online. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about those books because it's also a part of a new initiative at my other company, which is my name, Publishing, Carson Kelly Publishing. And at Carson Kelly Publishing, many, many things are in development. A lot of cool new things, a lot of new novels and comic books are happening based off Carson Kelly Games IP, such as Talking Dogs, Stallfall, and Dreamscape. We'll talk about many of those this year over the course of these episodes. <clears throat> Talking Dogs, the book series I'm very excited about because it be begins this year and it comes out this year, holiday. And well, I'm going to tell you the release dates right now. So starting off first on Friday, December 1st, 2023. December 1st, 2023. You can begin reading Talking Dogs Phil's Big Adventure. This is Phil's, this is your first chance and first time experiencing the story of Phil and who he is as a character and how, who he is Sorry for start uh, messing up my words again, but this is your first time learning and experiencing the journey of Phil the Husky and Talking Dog, so it's very heavy for me. Uh, a lot of emotions are going to be happening that day for me personally, I because it's been a long road with these characters, and I can't wait for people to learn and uh, uh, read the stories that I'm telling you. And it's they're very short books. Short, uh, short stories, very, uh, very family friendly books, and I can't wait for you to read Phil's Big Adventure on December first, two thousand twenty-three, on Amazon Bookstore, Amazon Kindle, uh, Barnes and Noble. You can check out as well, and I think a few others. There's a lot of book platforms out there that we're gonna release on. And uh, the second book coming out this year of the first trilogy of the Talking Dogs book series is Talking Dogs Glenn's Journey. This is your first time being introduced to Glenn. He's a German shepherd, and I can't wait for you to learn all about him and his journey that he goes on on December the 8th, 2023, which is a Friday. And now we're going to jump to the next book. Talking Dogs, Kelvin's Wish. Kelvin is a golden retriever. His story is very interesting because it connects to a bigger picture. And I think over the last two years, I teased his character a little bit through marketing purposes. If you guys remember, a year ago, I released a trailer, which was the first trailer for Talking Dogs. And it wasn't the greatest trailer for a reason, because I was teasing what is to come for the future. And I always uh, try my best to... Um, I always try my best to connect things and make things all connected in some sort of way. So, Kelvin's Wish is a little different. It's still family-friendly books because Talking Dogs is a family-friendly brand. And if you have a son, daughter, niece, nephew, little cousin or whatever... Talking Dogs is great for them to learn about. If you ever wanted to read about dogs in space, well, Talking Dogs, Kelvin's Wish is for you. 
because Calvin is a space dog in a way. There will be more books about him in the future. I wasn't supposed to say that part, but I, I get a little excited sometimes, and I and I leak my own shit. <laughs> but um, Talking Dogs, Calvin's Wish, a great, great book. One of my favorites to um, read about in the Talking Dogs series so far. I also want to briefly mention, before I tell you the release date for Talking Dogs, Calvin's Wish, that you can read, read Phil's Big Adventure, Glenn's Journey, or Calvin's Wish, however you like. They're not in any specific order. They're all standalone stories in their own little realm, but they all connect in a way that will be told in the in, in a future <laughs> something in the future. But yeah, Calvin's Wish for Talking Dogs. Calvin's Wish releases on Friday, December fifteenth, twenty twenty three, on Amazon Bookstore, Kindle, on Apple Bookstore, as well as Barnes and Noble. Now, if you would like to know if you could get a paperback or hardcover copy of these books, I do not want to confirm anything now, even though I know the answer. Just stay excited. Stay tuned for more information on the book series. Because, like I said, things can change very rapidly and fast, so I'm not going to tell you anything until it's finalized. But my partners who offer these type of things, like hardcover and paperback, they always suggest to go that route as well. And when there's more opportunity to expand and grow, I will execute that opportunity the best I can and take it and shoot for the stars and reach for the stars like my company slogan is. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm excited for you to learn all about Talking Dogs, Phil's Big Adventure, Glenn's Journey, and Kelvin's Wish, the book series. <clears throat> it's very, very... It's... A project I never saw myself doing. I never saw myself writing books or creating a novel series. I never did. A lot has changed this decade. This decade for me personally and professionally. Even though I don't think I'm a professional. I'm just a dude chasing his dreams at the end of the day. I'm no big corporation. It's just me one dude doing a lot of things and trying to make things happen. And that's what I'm going to do this decade. I'm going to make things happen and execute on all things possible. That I plan to do. And if you're listening to this. Um, I'm going to get a little motivational real quick. But if you have a dream. Fucking go for it dude. Go for it. I shouldn't have said the F-bomb. But it, it, it just rolls off the tongue better in this type of sentence. So please don't ban me Spotify. for. Um, it's just. Yeah. But anyway, guys, just act. if you have a dream, just chase it, man. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows, but um, your you can make the impossible possible. You know how to spell impossible? I M P O. I can't even spell it. <laughs> I can't even spell it. Uh, that's that's funny. I, I gotta clip that like a funny little video clip. That's funny. But you get the point. You can't spell impossible without possible, if that makes any sense. But yeah, if you have a dream, chase it. Um, I hope you enjoy the episode so far on the official Carson Kelly Games podcast. I know I'm having the time of my life doing this. Because I think it's a new, awesome way to communicate. Even though I like communicating via blogs, this is more of like an audio version of that. And I'm excited for that. I also would like to let you guys know that this is a monthly podcast. <clears throat> My voice is going. I hope I'm not getting sick or anything. Let me take some. I'm going to drink some tea. I love green tea. I love diet tea. Uh, I forget what I was saying, but um, yeah, this podcast, the Carson Kelly Games podcast, is a monthly podcast. And I can't wait for you guys to listen to all the episodes this year, even though it's going to be. 12 episodes a year, because it's a monthly podcast. This edition is January. But, um, yeah, future we'll have an episode list on the website of when you can check it out and stuff. Like I said, there'll be an audio version and a video version. However you listen, I appreciate it. It means the world to me. I don't ask for much in this world. But if you support my, my stuff, listen, tune in, watch. 
Thank you. That's all I ever ask for. Support and show your love however you can. I know I could be more professional, but I don't want to sound like a corporation and sound all mumbo jumbo and stuff. So I'm just going to be me in this podcast as well. But uh, if you don't know already, and if you want to listen to me uh, blabber blabber about um, things like other stuff in the world, you can listen to my other podcast, On Air of Carson Kelly, which begins on April the 7th. And it's a very, very long podcast talking about a variety of different things. But back on topic. I want to shortly talk about the upcoming mobile games from Carson Kelly Games, myself. This fall, we're going to be releasing, well, me, we're going to be releasing um, Dreamscape, Apocalypse, and Infinite. There, I never did a, created a mobile game before, so a little over two years ago, I thought of the idea. One of my favorite mobile games is Temple Run, so I made it a game just like that with its own twist. You're getting chased by zombies. And I think it's awesome, very cool, and it's an endless runner type thing where you just keep running and try to outrun the zombies. And uh, I hope you guys like it. And if you don't, you can always provide me feedback on the website or send an email at support at CarsonKellyGames.com. My voice is starting to go. That's weird. I'm getting a little worried. Hope I'm not getting sick, but... Yeah, Dreamscape Apocalypse and Dreamscape Infinite will release this fall. I'm very excited for you guys to learn <coughs> learn more about those and play them, of course. I guess I have a se- seasonal allergies are kicking in because my voice is going. This ain't good. Hmm. Maybe I just got a cold. Hopefully it's just a cold. I forget what I was talking about. Um, uh, Sorry, guys. I lost my train of thought there. (laughs) But yeah, a lot of stuff's coming beyond. I also want to talk about the the third mobile game, which is coming out next year. And it's targeting spring 2024 launch window. And it's about a... a uh, a bull, terrier, a bull terrier dog named Jack. It's a very little short little game. A short little 2D, 3D mobile game about a dog named Jack. Um, and I'm excited for you to play that game. On the website today, you can check out new images from that game. That were captured in Engine on Unreal Engine. That's where um, Jack's story is being created. It did start out on Unity, but I transferred it to Unreal. Because I am still trying to learn about Unity Engine more and more. But Unreal is just where I know more at. So, yeah. Um, we talked about a lot today. We talked about the Talking Dogs games, the mobile games, and the Dreamscape mobile games. And, of course, the Talking Dogs books. But there is something I want to briefly talk about. Not much in detail because I'm holding back on this one close to my heart. This next franchise I am working on for about five, six years now is called Starfall. Starfall is a sci-fi, thriller, horror, um, dark fantasy, twisted, very twisted franchise and series I am working on. No games are in development for it, but there, there could be some in the near future. Could be. Not confirming anything right there, but... It's a very, very dark and twisted series, and I can't wait for people to learn more about it. And Starfall, it's very, it's not family friendly. It's more people, 18 and older franchise. The franchise is inspired by some of my favorite dark and twisted stuff created from some of my favorite uh, horror masters, such as John Carpenter, Stephen King. And uh, Glenn Schofield, who created the Dead Space series. And recently, he just released his next project, the Callisto Protocol. I have yet to play the Callisto Protocol, but I am looking forward to it. Um, But yeah, I would like to touch base with you guys on Starfall in a future 
podcast episode and a deep dive and tell you what it's all about. But I will confirm now that there are multiple books and comic books in development for Starfall. I can't wait for you to learn all about it. I'm feeling a little woozy right now. My uh, voice is going and I'm, I'm a little worried. I know I am not the healthiest of the bunch, but I know I've been making some changes over the last good year and a couple months, such as I don't drink soda much anymore. I just drink tea, diet tea and stuff. <clears throat> Maybe it's just because I'm talking too much. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that would come with a podcast where you get a little raspy in the voice. That never happened to me before. But guys, my name is Carson, and if you enjoyed the first ever um, Carson Kelly Games podcast, be sure to let me know down below or shoot me a message on the website. You can hit up the chatbot. I call him Lenny the chatbot on the Carson Kelly Games website. You can shoot me a message there say, hey, your podcast was cool. You're very funny or something. I don't know. But yeah, guys, provide feedback because I am learning more and more every day of, of the stuff I am doing. My name is Carson, and I can't wait to touch base with you again in next month's edition of the Carson Kelly Games podcast, which will be episode two. We'll talk about many things, many things and stuff like that. Maybe I'll bring a industry friend on. Maybe I won't. I probably won't because I like doing this thing one-on-one -on -one with you guys. But there will be a time where I bring people on and we talk about the games industry and how we see it going forward with all the improvements and what's going on in our beloved industry. That brings many people together. And that that the games industry pretty much has also been, been part of my life since ever I was born, really. I grew up playing games. <laughs> I, I enjoyed playing games through my dark times, my good times, my happy days. Games are my life, and now I got the honor and ultimate privilege to uh, make my own games with some of the best, if not the best, in the game. No pun intended. And that's an honor I will hold on to until the end of my time in this industry, whenever that may be. Because nothing lasts forever and everything has an ending. I learned a lot about that in the last year. But yeah, guys, my name is Carson Kelly. And I hope to see you again soon on the official Carson Kelly Games podcast. Check out the, new, check out the website today. An update has rolled out featuring new updates across the board. I'm very excited for you to learn about them. And check out all the pages. I also want to briefly mention that the one page where it lists all the games and stuff, I I deleted that page on the website for a more uh, <clears throat> more better experience for you guys. So if you just want to learn about Dreamscape, the mobile games, you could do that. Um, or you could um, just go to Talking Dogs section and learn all about it, or the PC section. There's a lot of sections. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of sections on the website. It's still a work in progress. Even though I got it relaunched from December 2nd, 2022, I'm very proud of the website, what it looks like. It, very, it looks very modern, and I'm very happy with it, but there's always room for improvement across the board. And some nights I don't sleep because I'm always trying to innovate and execute on the things I want to create and make sure the website is... Make sure the website is... Flowing along really good and sailing greatly. I also apologize for the alert on my phone. I just got an ESPN alert about probably the Phillies or the Eagles. Because I'm a big Eagles and Phillies fan. But all right, guys. I'm going to conclude the podcast here. Thank you for joining for episode one of the Carson Kelly Games podcast. My name is Carson Kelly, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Take care and reach for the stars, my friends. Peace.